I think you were originally slated to play for the Tall Blacks over the break, but you, you uh, took, took the games off. Was that all about being ready for this? Yeah, basically just kind of prepping for this and carrying a few injuries that I thought it was best just to skip, skip that one and uh, focus on you know what we've got ahead on Wednesday. Sometimes those FIFA breaks come at bad times yeah. when you've got a bit of momentum, but with, for you guys, was that break just ideal? Yeah, I think it was good just to be able to you know, get back on the same page and be able to execute what we want to do. And I think our game plan is pretty solid, so no, definitely excited for Wednesday. What's a you know sudden death kind of play in game like this? It's a bit different than yeah. obviously series. What what's it about going in? I mean, we know what's at stake. It's basically win or go home. And I mean, we've done everything you know able for us to, to put ourselves in the best position possible. So. I mean, it all comes down to Wednesday, and I think everyone's excited. Things are kind of the favourites. They've um, finished above you guys on the table and had some success, but given you have beaten them plenty of times in the last couple of two or three seasons, do you go in with plenty of confidence and, and kind of relishing that little bit of a scrap? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, if we, we don't go in with confidence, then it's going to be a, kind of like our last game there. We got smacked and lost by 30, so I think all the boys are pumped and... Uh, definitely full of confidence. How do you reflect on last year's finals series defeat? As a player you were there in that final series, how do you reflect on I mean, yeah, that was tough. Obviously it was a different team, but still tough to, you know, losing that game five when I think the game was going our way. But, I mean, it's kind of a similar situation too. You know, it's playoff basketball now and it's going to come down to, obviously it's just a one-game series, so it basically comes down to this one game. You've been one of the few players on the side who's pretty much played in four games this season. For you as a player, how have you, um, how's it been for you seeing the lineups change, players injured throughout the season? How's it been for you? Yeah, obviously it's been, oh, for myself, I've been lucky not to you know, have any injuries, but it has been tough for us as a collective group. Just the amount of injuries we've, we've gone through this year and obviously losing Lambo for the season has been tough, but the, the guys that we've got, we trust in each other and you know, we've got all that we need, so no, we're definitely ready. Is it a mentality change for you, like an urge for you to step up in, in those uh, players' absence? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, everyone, everyone's got to step up. You know, we go you know, 12 deep and being able to rely on each other. Our, our bench is deep too, so just being able to rely, rely on each other and you know, get, get us through the line. You won um, Defensive Player of the Year for the, the Club Awards. Um, how much of an honour was that for you and um, how much do you pride in yourself in being uh, setting the tone on, on defence? Oh, definitely. I mean, it was you know, a good uh, accomplishment, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just just a, an award, and obviously, I've got to credit my teammates. They were the ones that kind of allowed me to do what I do. And I mean, the overall goal is to win the championship. But you know, always grateful for those individual accolades. Defense wins playoff basketball, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And in that respect, what's the defensive challenge against the Kings? Uh, obviously, they you know they've got some good imports and guards, and so it's obviously just going to be able to slow down. You can't really you know stop them, but just be able to slow down and contain them and. I think our game plan is is pretty pretty good so for what we got so far. Is J Jalen the head of the snake for them? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean him. Yeah, I mean they just they got a lot of guys, but yeah, he'll, he'll definitely be the head of the snake for them. Well, you, see you guys have struggled a lot with the tight turnaround this season. Do you guys feel a bit fresher getting into this? Yeah, definitely. It's been good having this uh, fever break because I mean we have I don't think we have one a uh, back to back, so it has been pretty tough in that aspect and. Obviously, travel and all that, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just uh, we've got to make sure that we bring our A game and do what we need to do. I mean, it's a one game series, so I mean, when we'll go home, really. Modi said in that speech when you won the award that he puts you on their top player each time, each and every week. So, do you feel with Jalen Adams a great example that you, with this award and everything, are the defensive leader this week, this, this game, because defense is Modi's catch call? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's. Definitely the head of the snake, and being able to you know guard their best players is it's, it's not just an individual job. You know, it's a team, collective team, and I think we've got the right plan, and you know to see how we execute and see how that goes.